Yeah. Hey everybody, it's the program. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines. And we'll start talking for an hour. And so it begins. Here we are on Sunday. Yes, yes. Sunday is fun day. Sunday, fun day. Can you say that with any day? Yeah, well, I, don't know, I guess Monday, Monday and Sunday only. <laughs> Tuesday fun day, but no, not really. Well, Friday's Friday, Friday, but never mind. <laughs> I'm already wasting an hour, or minutes worth of content out of our valuable hour time talking about days. Which days? Well, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> today's day. Yeah, today day. <laughs> um. How about? How are you doing today? Uh, well, I, I didn't see a whole lot of... Well, maybe I did. I mean, okay. Let, let me back up. Uh, so, uh, the, this morning was really crazy. I don't know if anyone else heard this in, in the... Um, well, maybe everyone heard it, but... There, there was, like, ongoing th- thunder, like, at 7 o'clock in the morning or whatnot. Well, I was asleep. I only learned, um, yeah, I was trying to get up at seven, eight o'clock to kind of go go off to church. That's and too early. Well, um, yeah, certainly um, if I'm up at one or two o'clock in the morning, but I, I think I timed myself to go to bed around um, twelve thirty o'clock ish. Yeah. And I was still not really feeling it to get out. Primarily because uh, the it was almost like raining by the buckets outside, and so I was like, okay, well, I guess uh, here will be another day yet again that I'll s- skip, um, um, you know, part of my schedule during the morning time on Sundays. Um, not gonna be upset at you. We're not going to church. Well, no, not, not, not so much. Go to hell? Well, no, I I basically go to church. You know, just to uh, say hi to people and to be uh, present and visible um, in community. One of the things that people say, hey, Carl, it's good to see you. I'm like, yeah, it's good to be seen. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it's good to be seen. Um, say, recognized and understood. Too. Yeah. You say you too also? Of, of, I think that's the polite answer. Of, yeah, of, right. Of, uh uh Anyway, so I, um, uh, oh, yeah, so you didn't go to church, yeah, stay home, do on computer, but no, I, I, uh, I couldn't really explain it that I was still like w- went back to bed, mm-hmm. um, but, um, wow, that's reasonable, but it was too early to be well, awake. Well, uh, as I learned from, uh, from a friend that I saw later on uh, today uh, that the uh, thunderstorms were ongoing throughout the night mm-hmm. and so maybe that would make sense to me now that you know once your body is like waking up from the deep sleep then you're like um, um, fatigued throughout the day is that what happened to you? probably were you waking up by thunder and lightning? Because I didn't even know it was happening at all. I didn't know it was happening either, but maybe at, on some level I wasn't able to, you know, um, encounter the deep, 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 deep sleep that uh, dreams happen and whatnot. I bet you were. Well, who knows? Anyway, I, I was tired, and then I was like, um, someone was talking to me. Well, well I'm you tired. talked to 8 a.m. Well, that's part of my schedule. That has been. Try- I'm trying to get myself back into some sort of schedule. I'm not sure how I got off the schedule. You know, you know, to be um, uh, uh, staying home um, uh, throughout uh, much of the well, uh, Sunday. Well, well, sure. I I come here because you know this is part of my scheduled routine as well but uh-huh. um i but this ends moderately early well I, i'm not i'm not too totally sure about that 
I did go to board game group, and you know, I was a little bit late for that, and you know, late for this. And did you see uh, what's his name there? Uh, mm, the guy that called in. What happened to that guy? He never called. He stopped calling in. Oh, oh, uh, d- yes. Um, um, uh, three lettered name. Um, Ben. Ben. No. John. No. Uh, Sam. No. Uh, Tim. Ted. I. Les. Um. Uh, Joe. Joe. Uh, Joe. Joe. And uh, no, I did not see Joe at the board game group. Um, but uh, I played um a couple of old favorites, and I I bought myself a um, a board game myself. So um. Uh, that, that I could um, um, play board games with, uh, um, um, you know, uh, well, uh, other people in in the in the future. Um, for example, I did not have Stone Age, and I want to buy Stone Age next. But I bought Carcassonne, which is oh yeah, I've heard of Carcassonne. You're all into that one. Yeah, the Carcassonne is. You didn't like have Carcassonne before. No. How were you playing? Is it on the phone or something? Is that what yeah, it? on the phone. You had a fake Carcassonne. You have a real physical copy of Carcassonne. I have a real copy of Carcassonne, and of board games now is like forty dollars or thirty-five dollars, and it's like wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, versus, you know, the um, the um, mobile version could be like. Two or three dollars well, a copy. You're not buying anything when you buy a movie from just some files. Well, d- right, but you know, y- you could entertain yourself with two or three dollars, or you could have yourself the actual uh, physical, you know, cardboard and wood pieces copy of a board game as well. And, well, anyway, um, it's, it's kind of. Um, I'm. Happy for you know I'm the, I'm happy for me to be back in on on some part of my schedule. Hopefully I'll I'll be going back to Unitarianism at some point in the future. So have you not been going to board games recently? Yeah, no, I haven't done done that either. Um, How yeah, long have the, you been not going to board games? Oh gosh. Yeah, that was like maybe a month or so, or you, you, took you know, a whole three, month three off of board games. Well, unintentional. Like for example, uh, the time that uh, I believe this happened on a Sunday because I was home the whole day, or it could have been a Tuesday. But the, the anyway, the, there were like ambulances or like um, emergency vehicles going up and down Division Street. Mm-hmm. Like having all this noise kerfuffle, and I explained about that on the program that night. Um, Too much kerfuffle. Yeah, it, uh, I was. I, I stayed home during that day. Um, uh, so anyway, um, I'm I'm uh, I'm back into. I hope a, a scheduled ru- routine on the weekends. Uh, okay. Great. Well, that's uh, that's the thing. We're gonna get here pretty soon. We're gonna be playing the dice game. Yeah. Maybe we should call some McDonald's too. We got some messages from Mr. Ginsu. Maybe we'll talk to Freddie, the producer. What did I see on the streets today? I didn't see much on the streets either. I'm trying to think. Mm-mm. You know, it's warm out. It's warming, warming up, and that's a little bit weird. Well, but it's also good because, well, I I um I imagine that there there would be like feet of snow outside if it was like um 32 degrees or below uh, throughout the entire day, you know, like within the last 24 hours from storm. this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from the storm, it was like, man, there was a lot of. Was there really a storm though? I was out. I was out, and I didn't see any storm. And I was up till like you no. Know, late the, at the, night. the sky kept on crackling with all this kind of this interesting, weird energy. 
Um, Did you see any of it? I, I didn't hear or see any of it at all. I, I was I was under covers. Um, yeah, but yeah, we no, no, I I kept on you know looking out of my window or opening my door, and I was like going back to bed. Um, um, like looking for the lightning. Yeah, uh, I uh, I'm uh, friends with one person that gets. Um, uh, seizures from lightning. What? Uh, and she, um, I, I was making well, sure like that she, she gets struck by lightning, or well, no, like that there would be energy, electricity in the air, and um, I made I was no. Uh, yeah, whenever you think that's electricity, that yeah, but there's no you can the electricity from far away. Those thunder and lightning not going to affect you from that far away. Well, no. Th- you're, um, it's almost like that. You got like static electricity. Uh, the closer that you come to, um, of uh, like some sort of strike zone or strike point, your ha- hair stands on end. What? Yeah. I think it's maybe psychosomatic. No, no, this is science, bro. <laughs> science? <laughs> Who's, who told you about the science? Uh, do, who uh, my the hair when I touch something, you know, and when my hair stands on ends, that's what tells me about science. Uh, how does that make anything prove about lightning and its vicinity about away from it? Because that doesn't seem real to me. Uh, well, um, uh, just because your hair stands on end from static <laughs> electricity doesn't. Well, well I the, the research. Uh, I I looked at the research and who's the research? Who's uh, the through th- through the Google. So yeah. I I mean who's doing? Don't don't believe everything. Well, you know if you well if someone's in danger, I would want to be there for them. And are so, they in danger though? Maybe they're, they're in danger. Is that they're thinking that something is wrong, but it's not. Well, th- uh, <laughs> um, I I don't know what to say to you. Kenny, but you know if, say, if everyone that say, is tell that probable, maybe, maybe they should face their fears and get close to lightning because I don't think it's <laughs> seizures. I think it's something else. Well, right, but you know if I think you, there's another problem. Maybe the real problem is out there. If you have Harvard you. Medical Journal or whatever talking about the uh, having lightning be uh, affecting. Um, Seizures she's blaming, or whatnot. She's blaming the the seizures on the lightning when maybe it's another cause that she's blaming it on. She's not even doing anything about that cause. Well, the, no. It's a it's, it's a thing here. Let's play the dice <laughs> game. Here's the pen. Uh, you see that pen right there? Under yeah. your Mountain Dew. Yeah. We're gonna write some numbers on our hand between one and six. We're gonna try to predict the future, visualize the future, and see if we can do it. I think yesterday Carl won. Or maybe I didn't. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It's the rolling song. It's a nothing. Three, I lost. Six. I have a two. We got some messages. Let's listen to them. Here it goes. Maybe. Holy fucking sheep shit. Okay. Motherfucker. Yeah. So I wake up, I turn the radio on, some cock fucking kind of fucking. Oh, holy fucking whoever you are. Um, or holy fucking shit. Or actually, she said, holy somebody. Huh? Um, you're the king and lord. What? Now, um, excuse me. I think the fucking kind, the religious kind, going King Lord, um, is 
doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. You ain't a king if you're a lord. And you ain't a lord if you're a, if you're a lord. You ain't a king. You understand me? So you either one or the other, but you ain't both. And uh-huh. all sorts of bullshit like that and bullshit, bullshit. Uh, kiss my ass, motherfuckers. Keep your fucking bullshitted. Bullshit. Keep your brown bag bullshit out of my fucking radio and off my TV. Thank you, Comcast, for fucking doing that for me. And then fucking... Somebody needs to kick Kenny and his cunt. Whoa. And Carl, because he deserves a little bit for being a smart ass. What? And, uh... Are you burning your bridges today? Freddy, motherfucker. Yeah, he deserves a kick. And Sounds like he's burning Bird, bridges. Yep, he probably deserves a kick just for fucking shit and giggles. And Kenny, you know, he deserves a kick because he, he just got a big fucking mouth. So. Yeah, anyway, burn your bridges, Mr. Gibson. I don't know where I was going with that, but somebody pissed me off. <laughs> fucking. Blah, 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 fucking hey, don't, don't get so pissed off that you can't even think. Kiss my ass. Sir. Yeah, you um, get so pissed off at the radio and start threatening and the people around you. All this kind of stuff. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Don't you understand what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. You don't you understand what you're saying? You do that shit so much more. You, when you do that shit, place, people don't like you. the children over at the Catholic Church. Why don't you do that? Uh, oh, sorry, how do you do? That's why I'm uh, Unitarian. I'm not Catholic. Ah. That's why you're Unitarian? Well, they're much more peaceful and no, they're not. happy. They attack me. <laughs> I got hit. They tried to hit me. Uh, oh, uh, I don't believe that for a second. Well, they gotta make up their minds. Those interns, they don't even. I mean, what's the point of going there at all? They don't even have a, a decision. Make a decision, somebody. To hold hands? Yeah, I'll hold hands. That's my decision. To hold hold hands and sing Kumbaya. I mean, okay, maybe that's like a, a real negative stance on on what peaceful people are, but. Yo. You little rat bastard. Yeah? I'm freaking not doing the show at 8 30. What? That kind of sucks. We're doing now, it we get fucking yap at you. 8 30? No fucking 9 30 or 10 30. Um. So, this is the way we're gonna do it. I'm gonna call you back. Yeah. Fucker. Good. Call us back. See if I care. He's um, trying to find us. Yeah, he's trying to find us, Kenny. Through time, he's trying to find us through time. Uh, yeah, yeah that's okay. Maybe, maybe his time is accurate. You know, I was like, w- when did we ever tape at eight thirty in the, a- uh, yeah, in the evening? Afternoon. Though, in the early afternoon. Oh, no, th- this is fifty-eight minutes ago. That was. Well, let's call him back anyway. He's. Cranky. He's cranky. He wants to hear from us. He's trying to call us every few minutes to reach the actual show with us on it instead of leaving messages. You gotta talk to somebody. What's going down? Did you just get there and start doing the show? We're doing the show. We listen to your messages, yeah. Are you trying to burn bridges again, sir? Do you need some kerosene? What are you talking about? <laughs> swearing. 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 Get, getting upset at me and and uh, I I can't even understand what your tirade was. What you, you your first message? You were talking about like a tirade about Comcast and some sort of woman, the and then you got um, onto a tirade about me and Kenny, and I was like. Whoa, where where did we come in this picture? Are you fucking kidding me? You don't fucking know? <laughs> what happened on the radio though? What happened on the radio today? Yeah. Oh, oh, nine. oh hey, it's uh, info time. Six, I'm good. Four, uh. Three, two, info up. 
Oh. Um, who, who knows? Here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. We're watching right now. It's called Your Daily Air with me. It's a called television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day of the year, uh, 365 days of the year. It airs every night at 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22, each episode, and 2 a.m. on 106.5. Uh, each episode broadcasts a week of home with saves you watching this on TV at 11.30 p.m. This episode takes the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m. this episode would save the same day of the month of the previous year. You could also watch any other episodes of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone could come on the program, especially you, Mr. Ginsu. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for watching, Mr. Ginsu. And now back to the program. Or calling in. Hello, sir. How are you doing? We're back from info time. I know, but was, did they hear me or was that was because... Shh, yeah, yeah we, we don't have a mute or sensor button. No, uh, no, you were there the whole time. Yeah, I do you... have a mute and sensor button, though, if I want to turn it on, but I usually don't touch it. Oh, is that so? You think you do? What do you need that for? <laughs> Mute, uh, muting and censoring, I guess. I mean, I can't really censor because I, I can only turn it off <laughs> after stuff. Let's try it out. Oh, shut up. Uh, okay, you want to try out yeah. your mute button? Yeah. Well, oh, start, um, start talking. I can, I can out the <laughs> hey, look, it worked. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, hold on. What did you just say? You were muted. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. I, I, we just turned you back on. We got oh, muted you out for a minute. Are you kidding me? I was... Oh man, okay, that's great. Now, now so what like, happened on the radio, now, sir? That's perfect. I have no idea what you heard. What happened on you? You got up in the morning or afternoon or something or your what happened on and, the and you radio? Ate a block of cheese. And when did you eat your last block of cheese? Uh, probably three days ago. But what did you hear on the radio, sir? And do you like apples? Do you eat apples with your cheese? Uh, no. I, I just have my wine with my cheese. Wah, wah, yeah, yeah. Wah. Cow with Mountain Dew and cheese. I always so oh, many crackers. You like the wine? You like the wine? Radio! You got the cheese, you got the cracker, radio! You got the radio! What was on I the radio? Thought, I always thought, oh, I should be eating. Don't do this deflection! Radio! You should eat, uh, crackers. I think. Crackers with the cheese, but he's just eating straight cheese. Crackers. Crackers. That's right, crackers. Crackers. That's crackers? Right, crackers? Crackers? Like, you like, are you calling me a quack? I'm saying, like, like salt. So, what was on the radio? Saltines. What are you talking about? What was yeah. on the radio? What about the radio? 106.3? No, 106.5, but that's low power FM. You turned on the radio and then we're talking about Comcast and then launched into a tirade about me and Kenny and say, oh, hey, sure, gotta I got, come I got down and kick them in me. there. I got somebody calling me, I gotta go. Bye. Oh, now you get a phone call. Okay, well, Bye. Uh, apparently he thinks he's more important than we are. Bye. Is that what you think when people get other phone calls? Mm, mm, no, I'm I'm just being an asshole. Can I be an asshole sometimes? No, I don't think no. you can do that. No? Okay. That is rude. That is good. Well, I could, I could be a dork, right? Or people don't want me to be a dork? All right. What are you talking about? Just like, I don't know. Um, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, this here, let's call uh, Freddy the producer. Sure, sounds good. I forgot to do the tape drop. I only did it once, and then I, I didn't do it again. Well, now you can carry over two tapes or something. Yeah. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how you doing? You're doing pretty good. I'm in my little drawing club here at uh, LaVoyer. Just kind of doing doing some doodles. What are you doodling? Um, well, so far I've made a uh, 
one-eyed wizard summoning like a cloud of eyeballs, and then I um, have a little bat that's here, maybe some kind of like weird robot. Uh, that's about it so far. Long um, live Merlin! Long live Merlin! Say that again. Long live Merlin! You know Merlin the wizard. Anyway. Oh man, that's that's like the opposite. You know, like that's like the listening version of a tongue twister. Or at least it sounds like it. Where it's like three words that I don't know what you're saying. Long, long live, live long live Merlin, because you have a wizard. Merlin. You have a wizard, and you're drawing him as to be a robot or something like that. And, Merlin. You know, of uh, King Arthur. The wizard for uh, King Arthur. Merlin. Wow. I'm I, I'm having a particularly hard time today understanding Sorry. the program. Um I I haven't been dropping off the tapes in the box. That's okay. I picked up some tapes and I've got them captured, but if you want to drop them off like maybe today's episode, tomorrow I gladly uh I want to do it. I'm, I want to do it. I, mean, I got can... one, and it was awesome. It was so cool to pick it up from the... Uh, I keep forgetting about it. Inside my house. That was so awesome. How's the... So the production run's going well, then? You got those tapes? Yeah, I got it, and it worked. The one that... Yeah, the one, I got it. How about the other ones, too? It's all, all going well? Everything's going well in general? Yeah, production end is going great. Um, I drove in from Seattle last night pretty late, and I almost made it into range of Koa to hear it, but I got in at, like, I got into range and picked up Koa at 3.07. Oh, so, so close. Left even, like, 15 minutes earlier than I did, I would have been able to hear the daily hour on the radio, but that's okay. It was close. Uh, I think the next thing we have going on is the season finale and premiere of the program. It's coming oh, yeah, up in wait, a season finale is on Thanksgiving. Yeah. So that's in five days here, right? Or Yeah. 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 Getting close. Uh, I'm actually going to be out of town for Thanksgiving visiting family and stuff. Uh, what do we think is going to happen on, on the... Uh, on the actual day there, the what are you gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know. Well, the premiere airs on the Cream of the County Awards night, so we're already doing the Cream of the County Awards. We can kind of acknowledge the premiere then, or we could maybe do something else too. Oh yeah, that's probably um, probably good. And we're gonna have the the Cream of the County. Finale stuff there at TCTV on the fifth. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we yeah, should. I'm actually here with someone who's uh, going to be illustrating the flyer for um, this uh, this thing. Uh, is there anything you want to request from the flyer? Do you want to you want to talk to them uh, yeah. on the show? Here, here's Jackson. He's going to draw the flyer. Jackson. Hello. You're going to draw the flyer, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, TVs. What was that? I like TV. Uh, Television. Uh, while I'm on TV? No, yeah, you're on TV, but as far as the flyer goes... I'm... Uh, I'm I was gonna, I was gonna draw the flyer for... For, uh... I'm, I'm telling you things that I like. Well, I kinda already have a, uh, something drawn. Oh, you do? That's fine, too. Freddie just said... Here, tell them what you like, and then I was going to, but that's that's great also. Is there something that I could add in the background that you want to see? Just well, more televisions. <laughs> I like televisions and uh, you know, cheeseburgers and uh, fire, cheeseburger rainbows. and what? Television, oh, cheeseburgers, what? fire, rainbows. How about telephone receivers? Phones, telephones, um, dragons. Uh, oh man, I can really understand what you're saying. Oh, that's okay. I'm not really saying anything important. Here, I'm gonna give you back to Freddy. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't think we really. Okay. I don't think you heard a word we said the whole time when we were telling them about these <laughs> these things. That sounded productive. Yeah, maybe. Hey, halfway through the program, you want to pick a number? Yeah. Um. Let me pick a six. Oh yeah, I think you. Or, no points so far. Oh, you. Uh, the can full of peanuts. You see uh, anything on the on the streets? Um, let's see. Anything on the streets? I drove all the way from Seattle to Olympia. Did you see the lightning? It was very rainy, but yeah, it was really, really crazy rainy. And then I heard thunder in this morning when I woke up. I heard it was there at 7 a.m. or something. Yeah, I went back to bed, but it definitely was thundering. Uh, one and two. I won. I got 500 points. Good job. I got a two. One, two, three so far. We're on the road to a straight. Um, I didn't see any lightning. Did uh, did anybody around you, did lightning. anybody see the lightning? Yeah, Kristen said she saw lightning. Next song. Oh, I have to doodle. I have to doodle. Here, you want to tell them something? I saw flashes in the yeah. sky. Whoa. And when Kristen! It was, when it was still dark outside? Um, It was, like, getting light, I think. I, I heard there was a lot of them. Was it uh, was it scary at all, or was it okay? Well, I was like, w our heaters were on really high, and it was like super warm inside, and then I was all like tired, and it was really nice actually. Oh, that sounds good. Scary. It was like it would probably be scary if you're outside. Probably. I yeah. read the weather report, and it told all the pedestrians to be to not go outside while it's thunderstorm. That's probably safe. You can get struck by lightning. Yeah, exactly. I but, um, yeah, especially if you're, like, golfing or something. I heard that golfers get struck by lightning a lot more often. Oh, yeah. Because they're holding up metal rods. Yeah. Yeah. They get struck way more than any other regular person. Why would you be golfing in the thunder? You think if, if you started seeing any signs of <laughs> rain... And you should get away unless it's like sudden or something. Well, I know, but we, there's nowhere to hide, you know. I oh, think yeah. some people say it can't happen to me, but things can and often do happen to people. But if you're trying to hide, I imagine that the golfers would throw down their golf clubs, and they would so they wouldn't get struck as much. Yeah. Maybe they could go in their golf cart because I heard that you know if you're in a something with rubber. Yeah. You know. I heard that too. You don't get ground. You can't be grounded. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I, they could try that next time. I don't know anybody that's ever been struck by lightning, or close. Have, have you, you guys? What? Have you ever been struck by lightning? Mm. -mm. Carl, lightning? N no. I never no. even. I've never even been that close to lightning. One time, a power transformer exploded at my house, and I thought it was lightning, but I think it was the power transformer exploding. Oh, yeah. I've heard that before. I think my brother got struck, struck by lightning once. Oh, didn't he get struck by lightning multiple times? Hey, Kurt, did you get struck by lightning? Have you gotten struck by lightning before? Didn't he get struck by lightning like three times? Uh, wait, didn't you get struck by lightning that one time? Here. Tell them about the time you got struck. Where? Well, okay. I thought he said he didn't, but I think he doesn't remember because he got struck. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he get struck by lightning more than once, or was that a story? Was that? I know somebody told us a, a, a story about somebody getting struck by lightning more than once, but maybe he was just making it up. You said you got struck more than once, so lightning. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you think that I'm lying, but I remember. And actually, I remember the time he got struck was when he was a goalie, you know, like in soccer, and there's the metal post. Uh huh. But then he got struck, and I think that's kind of like he lost his memory or whatever. Hmm. So. That's scary. It's like shock um, therapy or something. I think somebody, somebody <laughs> on this program said they were struck by lightning more than once. I, I, I feel like it's a memory I have somewhere. Maybe. Freddie, do you know anyone that's been struck? By lightning more than one time? Or at all? I heard of a man who was struck by lightning. Oh, yeah. There was a man in Olympia? No, not 
Okay, he w there was a man that got struck six times, but he didn't. He's not in Olympia. Yeah. There was nobody on the program who said they got struck by lightning more than once, though. Freddie doesn't remember that either. And I guess he probably doesn't because he would say that. I remember something. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Well, great. Hey, what are you doodling? So, um, did you get those trophies, you know, for the... Uh, no, I, we still didn't get them. You know, I was actually... I should probably email that person. What are they going to be? I don't even know. Are they going to be cans, though? Or? Oh, yeah, well... Oh, maybe we should, we should use the cans I'm drinking. But, um... <laughs> No, well, somebody, I, I answered an internet thing that somebody was giving away a bunch of trophies, and then they said they're going to drop them off, but then they just never did because it was free in the internet, so maybe they are not still. i got to talk to them. I kind of forgot about it. They forgot about it? No, I, I forgot about it. Well, they forgot about it, and, and then I forgot about it. Oh. We both did, but maybe. What, what was it going to be, though? They were going to give me a bunch of, like, of their old sports trophies or something maybe, maybe somebody's dead or they don't want to remember the past i don't know why they're getting rid of a bunch of trophies but they they were and answered an ad to it and they said they're going to give them to me but then they just never did right right i was thinking about that like just old trophies i mean like i'm sure there's a bunch at the you know the thrift stores thrift store. yeah i thought like, I, I, I i got rid of all my trophies you know you did i i don't I've, i don't think i've ever received a trophy well, like, every year, um, when you, you know, like, you play a sport for just, like, recreational soccer or basketball or, you know, everyone gets a trophy, no matter what. You don't have to do something special. Hmm. What? Wow. You still get a trophy. So, anyway, I probably had, like, 15 or 20 trophies that I just gave the goodwill. Oh, wow. Maybe we can find those. But I think I'm going to email that person now that you remind me to, maybe they can get those trophies still. Yeah, you should email them. I, like, completely forgot about it. That's good that you remembered. Yeah, because then, you know, it'd be really nice to get a real trophy. Yeah, instead of gluing cans to wood. That was the plan. <laughs> that still might be the plan if we don't get these trophies. Uh... Yeah, so... But the thing, the thing with the glued can and, and on glued onto wood is that it's food, too, in an emergency. <laughs> Food? Oh, yeah, yeah. The other one is food, too. Yeah. And it's also, you know, you know, cream corn. Who wouldn't want it? And it's just kind of a, I don't know, it's a nice-looking thing to just hold on to, I feel like. So. Yeah. Yeah, metal is nice. It's shiny. C cans. Maybe we'll get some shine, or maybe we'll shine the cans a little bit. I'm not really sure the, how you do it. I bet the trophies are made out of um, plastic, you know? Like, oh, they're yeah. probably not even metal. The cans are metal. I mean, we could shine them a little bit. I don't know if we can get some metal. Sh do they like make some kind of shiny stuff? But we can like what? maybe wax it. Yeah, you can wax it. Wax the trophy. Wax the can, yeah. If it comes down to cans instead of getting these trophies <laughs> from the person. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, great. Well, uh... <coughs> You got anything else you want to say today? Um, no. We're we gotta. I gotta doodle in a second here. So. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to doodling. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, doodling. Making pictures. Uh, yeah. Some people are making pictures as they talk on the phone, but they would be, you know, on at a you know, kitchen counter or whatnot. Uh, these of uh, Freddie and and um, 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 you know drawing club. His drawing club would be um, are are actually doodling as, as a specific um, uh, focus or uh, of 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 action. You know they're not you know talking and then they're just doodling to keep their mind somewhat busy. As they say, uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So uh, that's kind of interesting that the roles kind of uh, flipped a little bit. Doodling. Uh, we're going to get into a commercial break. When we get back from the commercial break, 
I think we're going to call Dan Bennett. He's scheduled to be here tomorrow. Maybe we'll call a couple McDonald's and see how that goes. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, Hopefully, unless we're dead, something weird happens in the next 10 seconds in the commercial over here. <laughs> is this, is this, are these commercials 10 minutes or seconds? 10 seconds? I don't know how long the commercial is. Maybe we should start counting right now. What? No, I don't think we should. <laughs> Two, Dan, Dan is here. Three. Yeah, it's Monday. Uh, we uh, talk about science. Robin answers a question posed by the program. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, uh, Came uh, up, uh, last I'm the beholder Sunday. of a trophy. See, right there. And won uh, something. Yeah. Tune in at 11:30 p.m. and 2 a.m. I lose AM. the trophy, however. On PCTV channel 22. Watch and find out. Chicken. <laughs> That's why I said muffins before. You gotta think of something new. Don't think of the same, the same thing as before. You gotta do a new. Why not? Uh, well, I guess you get to keep That's saying muffins. That's entertaining. He's gonna say muffins every day until somebody calls <laughs> in about muffins. Sure. We could just keep saying muffins until somebody finally calls in about muffins, because nobody's ever gonna call in about muffins. Probably nobody ever calls in about any of that stuff. Except for Joe, one time ever called in about the thing. Right. Well, uh, either or, we're of. Uh, at, at least people say that I've I've I see you on TV, and so by that Who capacity, says, oh, I must be entertaining. Who said? Uh, I don't know about that. Who says that? Of uh, people you know already. Well, to be um, to be interesting, uh, church people, for example. No, they're just telling you that because they know you. They don't. They don't care. They don't see you on TV. They're just like they saw. They're flipping through and they see somebody they know, well, and that's well, why they're watching. Well, within the first month of me being on the program in a regular capacity, it's it gotta be like, strangers. You gotta have huh? stra strangers. What do you mean you've seen me on the TV? I don't. I'm not on the TV. If it's not strangers, then then. But then, then I had to think, and I was like, oh, she, she's seen me on TV. I think uh, it was actually a generous, or. Hey, Dan. Direct. You there? You screwed your phone calls? Como esta? Or are you actually not there? Are it's you actually not there? I am actually there. Good. W where's there, sir? He's at home. It's a landline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but where <laughs> is Eddie. there? It, no. Don't answer that question. It's the landline. Landlines make sure you know who you are. Other people don't answer the cell phones. It could be anywhere. So you're you scheduled know, power, to be on the program the power tomorrow. power goes out, the landline still works. Oh, yeah, but you have a, uh, you have a corded phone? Yeah. Oh, well, you do? Oh, well, yes, I do, actually. Uh, I've got the, the cordless right here, but uh, I unplug that if the power goes out and I plug in the landline, and it works. Man, you're Mr. Oh. Utility like I am. You, you don't have the um. If something breaks, you switch it out for something. I don't know how else. long those phone, how long landlines are even going to be continued to be made. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> we still have a large population of elderly people that live at home, and they they use the landline. That's what they grew up with for. They is that you? 70 years, so... No, no. he's years, got a cell phone. ...however old they are, oh, that's yeah. what they grew up with, and changing is difficult for many. So yeah. uh, I expect we'll probably have landlines for another 20, 30 years at the most. Yeah. Wow. Uh, one more generation, pretty much. A human generation is considered about 20 to 22 years, if I'm not mistaken. 25 to 30. It's somewhere around 20 years. One no, yeah, it's 20. Wh no, no, 25 to 30. Who, why? Well, because th that gives you uh, someone the ample time to start reproducing. No, well, I think yeah. 20. People Some do that people, in 20. They don't. I is don't it, know that, is that they what a generation automatically is, reproduce once they get out of high school. Is that what a generation is when you reproduce? Because I think it's just a yeah. length of time. I think, 20, I think 20 years makes more sense to me than 25 years. I'm going with Dan on this one. It's only five Pardon? years. Yeah, I'm going with it. Well, if it's only five years, then why are you changing it? You said it first. You tried to No, I said 25 well, to 30. Yeah, so but Dan said 20 to 22. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. I've heard different numbers. I think it's uh, the average is 20 or something I think like it's that, so. uh, kind of uh, not 
a really set number. I think you can just kind of say it. I don't think it seems to me like generation is a kind of a colloquial term where you can kind of change the numbers around. I, well, I don't know that the majority of the population, once they each reach 20 years of age, they start, you know, having babies. I don't but know. But I think it's, I think that's the that what really that's makes always, sense. I think it makes sense as a generation, though, because, you know, every 20 years and some people are having them. And it's not really the kids. It's just like you know, in in not generations of, well, of families, generations of of humanity. So every twenty years, it seems like a good n- a number to change over your generation, like Generation X and Y and whatever. I think it happens about every twenty years, not every twenty five years. Because every twenty five years, it wouldn't land on decades. So it's got to be twenty twenty two years, so it lands on decades. Not everything needs to be perfect. Yeah, but this I'd does. I think when we're talking like this, because it's a colloquial <laughs> term. We're trying to, like, you know, get your years out, which is, like, Generation Y, Generation X. I think it's already 10 years if you're doing that, because Generation X, I think, was in the 90s, and Generation Y, well, that was about 2000, so maybe yeah. more. Yeah. Did, did yeah, you know? We, we tend to allocate, uh, uh, we tend to allocate, like, a decade, uh, like it's a generation, but uh, from all the science, Right when it's referred to as a generation, three generations, whatever, uh, the term tends to be referring to something about twenty years long. All right. And yeah, and I, I agree. The generation X, uh, X Y, next, whatever. Yeah, that's about every ten years. What? Yeah. Now, now people are having babies every ten years. No, they're not having every babies every ten years. They're switching oh, generations. Man, what? Well, hey, Dan, you're, you're scheduled to be here tomorrow. It's like my brain slipped on a banana peel. Oops. Uh, you gonna, you're planning to be here tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, usual time? I could do the usual time or earlier. Well, how about you? What do you What do you think? Oh, I'm teaching a class. I won't get done until close to 10. So usual time works for me, then, then the usual time tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that'll be great, yeah. Uh, same... Same place, same time. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, all the same as last week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Thanks, Dan. We're gonna be. Oh, hey, how do you uh, sh- polish a can? Oh. Huh? How how would I go about polishing a can, like a a tin can, like a soup can? Polishing? Yeah, I want to polish. I want it shiny. I want a shiny soup can. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Polishing tin cans? Yes. Yes. Uh, why would I want to do that? No, I want to do it. Well, for example, you would get pledge, and you would get a paper towel, and you would mix them together. Uh, well, I'm asking Dan. I think Dan has, has, has insight on this. Maybe. Do you use pledge, or do you use something else, Dan? <laughs> well, uh, if you use... Uh, an oil it would become very shiny. That would be one method of polishing. Another is to use uh, uh, a mildly abrasive material of some kind uh, to make it shiny. Uh, toothpaste might do it. Tin cans are already pretty shiny, but you know they corrode over time, and and uh, a oxidized film covers the outside, and that's why they lose their shininess. Oh, maybe maybe uh, then uh, nail polish, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would that would make it extra shiny. I don't know if I can. Can you buy a vat of nail polish so I can just dip it? Dollar store, maybe. Oh, that's probably uh, a little expensive. Well, it's a, it's a, a clear, hard acrylic. Yeah, that would do it. Uh, varnish. Uh, Certain varnish. Varnish. That sounds good. Great. Well, thanks, Dan. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good program. Hey, hey, did I get any dice rolls? Uh, you got one three, sir. So far, Yay. we haven't played the final roll yet. Not for another few minutes. We'll tell you tomorrow okay. if you win or lose. Well, I pick three. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, have a good night, man. There he goes. Here, I want to call uh, John Webster. I want to ask John Webster about his remote control situation. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm still interested. Did you find a remote? Have you been watching Channel 4 for three days? What's the deal, John? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. uh-oh. Guy needs to have patience and just look under cushions or between cushions or underneath, you know. 
um, couches where a uh, remote might lay right on the floor. Where's your patience, John? Yeah. John, what's the resident? Hey, John, it's the program. I'm uh, busy. I'm trying to get it off Cal 5. I want it on Cal 7. Did you find the remote? Uh, it won't, uh, it's a d RCA uh, remote and it don't work. What's it doing? It d won't, uh, I want to get it off Cal 5. I wouldn't get it off channel 5, put it on channel 7. Uh huh. Did you try pressing the channel up and down button? I. It's a RCA thing. Yeah, I, I understand. It's a universal remote. Did you. Uh, did you sync it to your TV or your cable box? Well, the person that got, got, it, uh, got it at Walmart, and it's no good. Did you sync it to your TV? Because you got to put in the code. To get it to work. Hey, you want to pick a number between one and six? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of uh, upset right now because I can't find channel seven. Hey, John, you know what you I, should do is find your old remote because it's somewhere in your couch. So. Oh, I can't find it. Uh, uh, my the person that was here uh, this morning and, and took me to church. Uh, I couldn't. I can't find. I can't find. Can't. Uh, but she found my uh, eye cleaners and everything. What? Really? Where's the way? One, two, th oh, never mind. Threes. Threes took it. Dan, one. All right. Well, hey, John. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Right. Oh, no. That's too bad, but... You know, if the ro worst problem in your life is that you can't find your TV remote, then maybe you are doing pretty well. Yeah. Maybe. There's worse things. I can think of plenty of worse things that could be happening instead of just this no having television remote problem. Yeah. Which is not really that much of a problem if you ask me. For sure. Nobody did, though, I guess. But we should, uh... You gotta find it in your couch. I know it's there somewhere, John. It, his house is slightly cluttered. Not as cluttered as my house, and I end up finding everything. Yeah. Um, mine as well. I, I um, have to be somewhat methodical and just go over it again and again and again. Until I find what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. And that works out for you, huh? Yeah. I mean... I think we're caught him. Hey, hey Donald, you guys, you guys got the pumpkin pies right now? I think we're caught McDonald's. How can I help you? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Do you guys got those pumpkin pies yet? We, um... Let me double check for you. I believe oh. we do. But let me just double check for you. Great. Um, yes, we do. Oh, great. You know, I've been calling around the McDonald's. Some of the other ones Sorry. in the area, they don't have it yet. Yeah, some of them already discontinued them, but we do have some. You still have it. I'm going to get it. Thank you. No problem. There they go. They have it. He was rather helpful. He was helpful. This is, um... L.A. We're calling L.A. Hey, hey L.A. Hey L.A. Uh, pumpkin pies. How you do? Hey L.A. Hello, McDonald. Hello, McDonald. Do you guys have those pumpkin pies yet? Excuse me? Do you have the pumpkin pies yet? No, we don't, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, do you know if you're going to be getting them in soon? No, um, next year again? Oh, um, next year? I already missed it this year? Excuse me? You guys already had them this year? Yes, we already had them. Oh, no. How come you're doing it before Thanksgiving? 
Excuse me? I thought maybe I was going to get some of those pies for Thanksgiving. Maybe you can check other restaurants, but our restaurant, we already stopped selling them. Oh, like the other McDonald's? Have a good night. You too. Wow. They did have them with the other one. We already called the other one. Here we go. It's called the next one. This one's in. Uh oh. Adina, Aldina. You ever been to Aldina? Nope. Me neither. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I haven't. I, if it's somewhere on the I-5 or 101 corridor, maybe I have. Ellie's passing through. Uh, I'm Do you guys have a pumpkin pie yet? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the pumpkin pies yet? No, we have the holiday pies now. What's that? Alright, bye bye. What? That was helpful. By helpful, I mean not very, but okay. Not helpful. Here we go, Glendale, California. Actually, I think we just called Glendale, California. Here's Pasadena, California. How many McDonald's are we going to get through today? We called four. McDonald, answer the phone. What is when the phone ring? What happened to the Cream of the County Awards? I think I lost them. No, they're uh, on the other side of the, um, the table right here. Oh, you know where they are. You had them in your car for a while. McDonald's. What? Oh, great. There it is. You found it. I tried entering my remote access codes, it didn't work. Uh, a ring a ding ding. Here we go, I'm gonna help you. Hey, McDonald's, you guys got those pumpkin pies yet? Yes. Oh, good. How about holidays? Yes. Oh, both at the same time? Good. I'm going to try to get one. Are they both the same price? They're 97 cents each. 97 cents? You guys raised the price? One of the two for a dollar? No. No? Not for a while. Hey, is the holiday pies, do they got those red and green sprinkles this year or is it the same sprinkles as last year? I'm sorry? On the holiday pies, is it the same sprinkles as last year or is it red and green this year? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Oh, on the holiday pies, you know the sprinkles on the holiday pies? No, the holiday pies 97 cents as well. Yeah, but there's sprinkles on it. Sorry? Sprinkles? We have the holiday, the apple and the pumpkin pie. Yeah. Apple, the holiday and the, and the pumpkin pie are 97 cents each and the apple pie 75. Spring there's no special on any of the pies. Sprinkles. Okay, bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, uh, Freddie and Mr. Ginsu and... McDonald's. McDonald's and John Webster. And Kenny. Episode number... Oh, my pleasure. Episode number and day, and day of the week. And, uh... 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on TV Channel 22. Thank you, TV. Whitey'sWM.com. Full archive online for free. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Check them out if you'd like. 36, uh, 36, 4, Crew, you guys want me on the crew? I'm doing things you want. Oh, you have FBI. Yeah. CCTV. 
Limited.com, Sick of Feeling, Jordi E. Fabulous. Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners, hell yeah, dog. Woof, woof. Oh. Bye.